welcome to this video guys in this video i will show you how to model this link of the robotic arm by the way this is the link 2 of the robotic arm so let's begin open a part file guys and here specify the unit in which you are going to work i am selecting here mmgs which is millimeters now click on top plane guys and click on sketch and then we are going to select this circle and make a circle at this origin like this now select the smart dimensioning tool because we want to assign some dimension assign the diameter to this circle check this box from here go to features and select extruded boss convert into the 3d object and here specify the length of extrusion 12 millimeter check this box from here now let me specify some appearance so that it look better and from here you can specify any appearance you like this is an optional step guys if you don't do this till it's fine and now guys select the surface click on sketch select a circle and make a circle at this midpoint now let's specify the diameter of this circle by specifying the smart dimension 90 mm and now guys select this extruded boss base command and here specify the length of extrusion after specifying the length of extrusion just check this box from here now select the surface and click on sketch once again here select the circle and make a circle at this origin make another circle at this origin now select smart dimensioning tool specify the diameter of the bigger circle and now select the smaller circle and the bigger circle and the distance between them let's specify as 3 millimeter now go to features select extruded cut command this time not the boss extruded cut and here specify the depth of extruded cut and then check this box from here after that select the surface click on sketch and then select a center line make a horizontal or let's say this inclined line but make relation horizontal i want a horizontal line that's why i have selected the horizontal relation then specify here the length of this line as 300 make a circle and specify the diameter of this circle let's specify as 70 extruded boss base here specify the length of extrusion since I want extrusion in the other side so I want I will select the other side and then check this box from here and now guys select the surface click on sketch and make a circle that let me trace the center and specify the diameter of the circle and now make another circle this would be smaller the distance between smaller and the bigger circle specify and now we would do the same procedure we would extruded cut it this is the extruded cut command and here specify the depth of extruded cut okay and now guys it's time to make the lot for that i would require this plane that cut this sketch in half now select this right plane and in reference geometry select the plane and here specify 300 mm i would explain you why i have selected 300 mm since i want it here so i would flip it from here and now as you can see we have two planes that cutting these parts in half check this box from here and let me just show the right plane and let me explain you why i have selected 300 mm this is the reason because i want a plane that cut this part in half that's why 300 mm and now to make a loft i want to make a sketch on these two planes so select this plane and click on sketch this is the smaller part remember and here i would select the midpoint midpoint line then select this three point arc 
one point two point and third point would be here now specify the length of this line 50 and the radius of this three point arc 26 exit the sketch and this is done now I would make the sketch on the bigger part the right plane this plane and similar same procedure I would select the midpoint line and make a line like this and then I would make a three point arc make sure that these lines are horizontal either you can select horizontal relation it's up to you make a three point arc and similarly I would specify the length of the line and the radius of this three point arc okay and exit the sketch and now it's time for the loft here is the lofted boss base in this profile window let me just okay in this profile window I have to select this first profile or you can say first sketch and the second sketch and these are the connector let me make it a line or okay let me explain you one more time these are the connectors these should be in line so let me show you how you can make them in line this is one option let me delete them you can select these sketches from here as well so that's how you can apply the lofted boss base the rest of this link will be completed in the next video see you in the next video